Uchimata differs from Judo Uchimata. Judo Uchimata, I have to be very close to him, and I want to lift him like this. It's uh, sometimes you are able to learn. You are able to learn it by doing the Harai Goshi. Okay, so he's close by, and I lift him. But in Jitsu Uchimata in Kishin, I don't lift him. I either kick his groin or I break his knee. Just like an inside low kick, but in a crushing movement. So to learn Ninjitsu Uchimata, first of all I have to do the Ushiro Aruki. This. Like I kick, but I don't want to get near. I want to get away from him. So I do this. And I point with this heel towards his body. This is the crossbow, okay? The crosshairs, sorry, okay? The way I aim my kick in the uchimata. So I go away and I push him. And if I'm successful, he will not understand what is happening and create more space, okay? Because in many judo throws, doing this sprawling, many, not all, is a good way to defend. So this is what I want from him, this sprawling. And here, I kick his knee and break. 